Hey everybody, this is your friend Daniel Hutchins, and today we are talking about an article again from our friends Screen Rant. So today from Screen Rant, we are talking about Spider-Man. Yes, Spider-Man. Spider-Man says he does kill people from a letter to the Spider-Verse to writer. The real reason why Spider-Man, a.k.a. Ben Schwartz, says he does kill people from a letter in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse to the writer in question we know, Christopher Miller. This is from 17 hours ago. Okay. The real Spider-Man, a.k.a. Ben Schwartz, says he does kill people in the letter to Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1. The writer in question we know, Christopher Miller. Since we know that the Sony 2018 animated comic book movie Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is without a doubt partially responsible for Sony and Marvel Studios Spider-Man No Way Home, multiple compassionate Spider-Man, now, I had the stupid advertisement popping up for PetSmart. What the fuck? So now we have, again, the Academy Award winning film Seen Maz Morales meet a handful of alternate universe Spider-Men, including Spider-Gwen, Peter B. Parker, Penny Parker, Spider-Man Noir, and Peter Parker. Okay, so from the end of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Miles has stopped Wilson Fisk, the Kingpin, multiverse tampering. He sent his fellow web swingers back to their prospective universe. However, just when viewers thought that Miles was done into, into the Spider-Verse post credit scene, they set up a sequel with teasing the Spider-Man 2099. Now, recent teaser trailers see Miles battled the Spider-Man 2099 to travel to alternate, distinctly animated realities instead with them coming to him. Now, given all this in question, guys, it seems more than safe to say that Across the Spider-Verse will be, like it said, introduce more Spider-Mans. Okay, so related to this article, Spider-Verse 2 why does Spider-Man 2099 and the Miles Morales, why they fight? But we're not talking about that, we're talking about something else. So across the Spider-Verse, writer Miller took to his social media, Twitter, to share this letter from a very disgruntled Spider-Person, or Spider-Man. Shocking letters were written on the Aunt May typewriter from the real Spider-Man, Expressing his anger and being confused with a pig. The aggressive demands that Miller not make another Spider-Verse film. Suffice to say, the real Spider-Man would never leave out the hyphen of his name. You can check this out below. Christopher Miller Twitter. Now he tweeted this. I received this shocking letter in the mail from the real Spider-Man yesterday. It was written in an antique typewriter like the ones from Rejected Jokes. It has all this thing you can see before. Now, we say, it says, Even You something important, fuck you, you hear me, Miller. Absolutely fuck you in the face. Because of your little drawing picker movie, Spider-Verse people now think there are a million of me. These aren't my men. There is just one, and he is typing to you on Aunt May's typewriter right now. Do you know how demoralizing it is to save a group of citizens from a bank robbery? More say, only for someone to ask, which Spider-Man saved you? Was it the pig? The pig? A pig can't fucking swoop in from a ceiling. Tackle three enormous bank robbers, 
time to the webs and swing through a window to escape, the pig fucking dies underneath a web. That says its name on it or some shit. Do me a favor, I saw that you were making another movie, and then the tag of that announcement was that you were turning that into two fucking movies. Do not do it, please for me, the real and only Spider-Man who lives in your world in 2022. And it is now getting no credit for killing off bad guys. Yes, I will kill them. So many of these movies just have me tying them up. Why? So they can mob hurt people again? Stupid. Now just do me a favor, please, and maybe one day when you are in trouble, I might save you. Not a pig or a rat or a fucking dinosaur. Me, the real Spider-Man. Can't wait for the after party. Signed, the real Spider-Man. So this is a letter that actually is on Twitter. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to share it to social media later on my own time though. But again, you could click to see the original post. And there's lots and lots of replies from this. Again, context around the strange letter send-off says the Schwartz stars of the upcoming murder mystery comedy, The After Party, which was created by Miller, is set to premiere on Apple TV from January the 28th. That's only just another week away. Now, this has killed off his grandiose mansion by someone attending after a party entered Tiffany Haddish's Detective Dano, who will attempt to get to the bottom of a murder mystery, a la Hercule Perlite, in addition to Schwartz and Hadish, the After Party stars again, as noted. Now, as for Across the Spider-Verse Part 1, the multiverse adventure is set to release in the theaters in October of 2022, and also Part 2 is going to be 2023. On top of this, we know that all the actors are returning, and there's going to be the new role of someone playing Spider-Woman. Now, theoretically, everyone in Mars Mac Universe and Sony Universe of characters of Marvel are part of the Spider-Verse. Anyone can show up any time and any given moment, and entirety of the Across Spider-Verse cast list is being kept secret and under wraps in lock and key. Now, there's really no ruling out the appearance by Schwartz's very jaded, explicit, and apparently murderous Spider-Man. Okay, guys, so let me know what your thoughts about that is. And you have a great night. And I'll catch you guys around for some more later. See ya. Bye. Adios. Out of Virgi. Sayonara. Hasta la vista. Goodbye.